coach uh, 0-2 on the weekend at Northern State, but played some pretty good basketball. We're competitive most of the way through there against the Wolves, and they're a really quality opponent. So can you kind of just talk about the weekend for you guys? Yeah, I just thought, um, you know, coming off coming off that off week um, and then going on the road, um, I thought at times we looked a little bit um, out of sync. You know, it probably it could have something to do with them being a very good team as well. Um, and, you know, they're just strong on, on the offensive end and the defensive end. But I thought at times they had us a little a little out of rhythm. Um, and then, you know, they, they just they do a really good job uh, taking advantage of your mistakes on the, when you're on the defensive end. Um, didn't guard well enough uh, for long enough to, to be able to pull off a, a road win um, and, and kind of go into their place and get one of those two games. So definitely disappointed that we, that we go, um, you know, come off a 40-game win, sl- win streak and then go in there and drop both. Um, but at the same time, there are some good things uh, that came out of that. I thought we learned some things that we can be successful doing. Um, and I thought some guys, uh, you know, really played well at times, uh, bo- both offensively and defensively. So, you know, y- you said it best. There's some ups and downs, some things to build on, some things to fix, um, just like there are most weeks. But um, hopefully we can kind of get back in routine now and, and uh, kind of get back to back to a little more of a normal schedule and be ready to roll this week. My question is about one of the ups, Melvin Newburn. He had a career high in both rebounds and points, and he was one of the one of the mentions for NSIC Player of the Week this week and a top performer. Talk about his game. He just continues to produce. Yeah, just continue to get more and more comfortable from from Melvin. You know, night in and night out, he's been pretty consistent here the last uh, three to four weeks uh, for us. And you know, huge game on Friday. He had 31 uh, points and 17 rebounds. So, really big game for him. Really aggressive. Um, on the glass and obviously taking the ball to the basket. Um, really shot it well this weekend, which has been something that he's done uh, really well all year. He's put in a lot of time to, to work on that. So it was good to see that uh, pay off and him to have confidence in that because he has really shot it. Uh, he shoots it every day in practice. So good to see that transfer into the game a little bit more um, and him to be aggressive uh, from behind the arc as well as in the lane. But just, you know, just he's put a lot of work in and gotten a lot better. So just really happy to see him continue to improve and see it pay off on on Friday and Saturday nights for Mel. This upcoming weekend, you're going to be on the road again at U Mary. It's not only a rivalry game, but there will likely also be some uh, conference tournament implications uh, on these two games at while you're playing the Marauders. Uh, is that any? Is that something that uh, your guys and you have as, as a coaching staff have considered here preparing for this weekend? Well, just you know, we're to that point in time now in the season uh, where. We have to win a game. We have to win one game to get uh, to the postseason. So uh, we have two opportunities to do that. We had two last weekend, and we didn't take advantage of that. So back on the road with the same challenge, uh, find a way to get a win on Friday night. Um, if we win on win one of those games, we're going to be uh, playing in the playoffs um, down at the Pentagon. So you got to find a way to take care of business. It's going to be a challenge. You know, we've we've uh, talked about this a little bit in the past, but our entire North schedule, with the exception of two games here against Bemidji, is going to be on the road. Um, because of the home cancellations. So we've been gone, been gone, been gone a lot <laughs> this year um, and, and spending a lot of times uh, times on the bus and on the road and in the hotels. But uh, this will be a, a short trip, and it's, um, you know, we've got we to gotta go now and get a chance to, on Friday and on Saturday, to earn some more basketball. And we want to keep playing because we feel like we've been improving a lot. Uh, so just got to make the most of that opportunity and be ready to go. What do you think will be an aspect that you can – take advantage of with the Marauders that will help you get one of those two games or both those games this weekend? Well, just continuing to continue to, to find our balance offensively. You know, we've had a, the ability for different guys to have big games. You mentioned Melvin. Cam's had him. Max's had him. Cody Dwyer's had him. Sam uh, Ulrich has had him. So continuing to find that balance. Um, and it's just um, get, go down there and be ready to try to play a, a little bit uh, faster tempo probably than they want to play. Um, and get in transition a little bit, and hopefully we can turn them over and get in the open court and continue to to be active defensively and create turnovers as we have for a lot of the year and uh, get those live ball steals so we can, can, can get out in the open court and be successful. And That's been a big key for us in a lot of games, and it sparked a few runs for us here this past weekend uh, down at Aberdeen. So uh, trying to work defensively, trying to have active hands, trying to get tips, and trying to trying to create tra- transition opportunities. You find, is there any uh, increased comfort be with these uh, pressure pack games being against a team that uh, you are f- so familiar with and there's so many connections between the Minot State program, the Mary program, and the communities as a whole, do you think there's any any uh, added comfort level there? Uh, just just another game. I mean, <laughs> the last game on the schedule this, this, this year, we've got to win one to get in. Um, 
I mean, I don't really have anything on that. You know, it's a good question. I understand that we've got to ask that one. You know, um, I guess I have seen a lot of those guys play in high school because they have a lot of in-state guys, and that's good good for their program. And, and we have some guys probably that played against them in high school with them having some Bismarck guys and us having some Minot guys and, and being down the road. Um, but other than that, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's just – road game tough environment um it'll be nice to be in another place that has fans it was fun to be in Aberdeen you know we haven't had that a lot this year and they had uh you know over a thousand fans in the building and um you know with uh last home games uh, of the year and Mary having fans and being open and appreciative of their administration and and our people up here in North Dakota allowing us to do that because it is going to be a fun atmosphere I think and uh a good way to kind of end out the regular season for us and uh, it's always fun to to play on the road and hear, have people cheering and um, you know so I'm, I'm just excited for that more so than necessarily who we're playing is just another chance to go and it's just you don't you can't take advantage or take it uh, for granted this year you got to take advantage of it because it's as we've seen a couple times within our women's program and our men's program you can all of a sudden find out you're not playing real quick so hopefully we can continue to continue to get those games in and uh, and, and make the most of it and find a way to win win one of those uh two games, hopefully two of those two games, and we're, we're focused on Friday right now, and then turn around right away on Saturday and, and look for a sweep, hopefully. What, what's the biggest aspect that you take from playing the number two team in the country like Northern into your next game? Yeah, no, they're good. They're really good. You know, you don't get to be number two without having a lot of talented players and winning a lot of basketball games. And credit to them over the last couple of seasons, the, the success that they've had, uh, well-coached, committed guys. Um, just kind of basketball players and I mean that in the, with the utmost respect I and mean, they like to play and they like to compete and um, they're, they're grinders and they fill their roles extremely well um, but the benefit of that is you know sometimes it's good if when you when you make mistakes against them they take advantage and um, you know you're not going to get away with that and it's a chance to learn and a chance to grow and to see um, you know put some things together of why it's why the little things are so important and little details are going to win basketball games um, especially on the road and especially against a good team so um, they took advantage of that when we didn't when we didn't weren't locked in and we weren't ready um, they got baskets or got stops on us and it's definitely something you can grow from um, sometimes sometimes uh, you can you know learn from from success and sometimes you can learn from failure as well and there's some plays there that uh, we've certainly watched as a team and said, "Hey, we got to be better here," um, and in both those uh, both those ways, both positives and negatives. So, um, hopefully, it can just be a, a growing opportunity. So, the only option you have now is after you play those games, win or lose, how can we get better? How can we win a few more possessions and put ourselves in a in a spot to be a little bit better the next weekend? And uh, now we're in the last weekend of the regular season, so now it's down to we got to get a win. We got to get a win to keep playing, and it's a, it's a good challenge for us. Okay, thank you, guys.